And they couldn't get it to the zone. Paige Crozen will reset up top. And she'll have about eight seconds to work with. She's coming off an incredible uh, scoring performance. I think she had 11. My memory serves, but I'm yeah. going off my memory. You she got had 10 plus, but can't get to it right now. And they couldn't get to that rebound. VV with the right to left cross. You didn't have the right flavor sauce as you missed it. Good defense here from Burundi, but as she hooked Michelle Plouf. So, man, Hedgeduce has got some good size on her, but even, even she looks small out there with the Blue Sisters. Yeah, what's, what's uh, so amazing about them is the fact that even though they are that size, they can move. They got, they got the legs and the feet to stay with smaller guards, and they can put pressure on the ball, which is crazy if you think about it, because they are about as tall as, well, for instance, can't really break. Oh, close. You see her putting up pressure on the ball? Yeah. They're not quite that big. Well, but, but very close. It's it's about an inch difference, not yes. much. They're near the same altitude. Ooh. In the meantime, uh, you won't be able to match that speed. She's in a lane of her own. Paparazzi will get the scoring started for Hungry. But then Pop is called for the reach in. Final game in Pool C. Cat to her sis, but she can't get it back. And then Catherine gets called for the foul, sending Pop to the ground. So Canada has looked, looked better, I would say, Boz, but much like I was speaking about the American team earlier, I, don't think, I still don't think we've seen our best. Meantime, that, that too was money from Claudia Pop. Mm -hmm. She's been looking good this whole tournament. That's one of the top scores. You think back to that lights out shoot performance she had against Mongolia. We'll see if she's got the magic touch in this one. Hungries are up early, three zip. Here's the zone. Going to work on Burundi. Turns around. And with a soft touch. Burundi baseline, faking but not making. Cat will hand it over to her sister. Foul called on the shot attempt. And that will put Catherine Fluke on the line. Four early fouls here, two for Hungary. They're being, uh, they're being a little bit too physical right now trying to stop the Canadians. It must, must be a little bit of desperation, though, because they know they have to win by more than 10 points, which uh, seems like an improbable task against this Canada team, even though they haven't been clicking. Oh, offensive foul. And Michelle got a shot to the chest plate. So she's uh, grimacing as she will take a trip to the bench. Bosch Spice, Paparazzi, top of the key as we get back in it. Cat out to the zone. She's in the zone. 4-2 as Paige continues to put on a show out here. Don't let her get another one. Oh. That's all right. Paige misses it. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to use my cough button. I'm sorry. No, uh, no. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Paparazzi is a no. But she does track down the rebound. She's got a knack for that. We got a foul red. Canada second. So we saw Hungry jump out to that 3 0 lead to, to start things off. Canada have responded with a 4 0 run. and. In the process, Hungry picked up a ton of fouls. They got five, so one to give. And we're just two and a half minutes into this game. VV, so that one nicks the iron. Going to be a white ball. Page with the hustle, but couldn't quite track that thing down. Hedgeduce is in. 
And Claudia is out. I've uh, finally figured out where Paige Crow zones from. Where? She's from Saskatchewan. Humble. Oh, from Saskatchewan. Yeah. Remember, you remember Michael Linklater? Yes, of course I do. Him and Leafers. Also, shout out to Keaton Bosch. Uh, they like the, the nickname Bosch Spice. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I almost went with Ginger Spice, Keaton. Uh, I was going to, because of the red hair, it, it, I like the tie there. But yeah, yeah. if y'all like Bosch Spice, we stick with it. Yeah, we'll go with Bosch Spice then. Oh, look at that connection. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. wait. Michelle Plouffe sold it. You don't ever see that. Utsai, nope. Won't get the score. But Michelle will snag the rebound. She wants to rock. Oh, it's dime time. Oh, maybe, maybe not time yet. Canada leaving some points out there for getting the score. And again, they want to score 20 points if they win this game. Oh, that was definitely a travel there. Peroni took all kinds of extra steps. As we look at the last connection for the score. So Canada haven't exactly been a well-oiled machine in this one. But they've made enough plays here to get a slim advantage. And again, nice crowd. World Cup here. Vienna, Austria is going down. Let's get back to it. Oh, uh, offensive foul. Was she turning as she set that that screen? Yeah, Probably a little bit. Maybe she put a hand out too. You can't screen Let's with get a, hands. Get another look at oh, that. Oh yeah. Uh, that she hip checked her a little bit. Yeah. You got to be set while setting that screen. Third foul on the Canadians. Pop, no. Oh, she redirects. She has found her destination. But no, nobody can help her there against Catherine Kluth underneath. Now, Bosch trying to defend and hold off Hedjadouche. Frozen is back in. Oh, good defense. Michelle gives it right back. Paparazzi shooting her shot. Hedge Deuce will track it down. She's going right at Crozen. And she holds her own. Blue with the pirouette move. And she's going to miss the mark, too. Blue with the thievery. It's her second steal. She's a smooth criminal. Down low to Cat. Pop. Couldn't get the midi to go. Canada with a four point advantage as we get closer to that midway point. Again, big stakes in this one. This cat could cash in on the dream shake. But hungry. They need a win in the worst way just to stay alive and have some hopes of moving on to the play-in game. Oh. And with a win and at least 20 points scored, Canada, Canada can take over the number one seed. A win is going to secure them a, a spot to continue to play in the elimination rounds. At the very least, because they would improve to three and one. Hungry six foul will put Catherine Plouffe on the line. She led the field in double doubles, averaging an impressive five points and six rebounds per game last year in Antwerp at the World Cup. And represented the Canadian national team when she participated in the 2014 oh. World Championships. She didn't represent so well at the free throw line. Right, not in that layup either. Got her own rebound and just missed the bunny. We've seen Canada do that, right? They they kind of get themselves out of games by, you know, losing their focus a little bit. Open layup that they're just missing right now. That's not the first one this game. 
Yeah, they are about as dysfunctional as the Sopranos right now. Mm. Mm. You haven't seen that series, have you? I, uh, I have a long time ago, though. All right. I'll try to make my references more current for you. What? what? I mean, I, I know some I know some older series in them. I'm a big Game of Thrones guy. Well, I've seen that, you know, unfortunately the last season as well. Oh, yeah, that, okay, yeah. Season uh, eight. I actually read the books before I saw the series. Well, you know, usually the books are better than the series. They it's are. like when, same thing with movies. Yes. Uh, one of my biggest, uh, let's not get too much distracted here, but one of the biggest things from my youth was I read Lord of the Rings like 10 times when I was a kid, and then I watched the movies, and I was like, all right, it's all right. Yeah. I like Breaking Bad, too. Oh, that's one of my favorite shows. Except for the episode with the fly. Oh, <laughs> you remember that one? Yes. Yeah, that, they drug that fly thing out for the longest. Oh, that was one of the most annoying TV episodes ever. It was good, though, if you think about it. Oh, that was their goal, too. There's, uh, there was also this this basketball game going on. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, get back to it. Man, Canada and Hungary, it was, it was kind of good. Ah, uh, there's Bosch Spice. Not only did she get the layup, she also put Hedgedoos on her back as well. Physical play from Casey Bosch. I got to look up some Spice Girl songs so I can sing something. Wanna oh! Be Ooh! Na, 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 na. What a shot from MVP. Michelle Plouffe gets the two to count and the foul. There's some string music for you. Big, big two right there. And Canada's gonna get some breathing room. You knew that this would be a tough challenge for Hungary. I think it'd be silly to count them out. This is a squad full of fighters, and there's always Claudia Pop who can take over a game. But this lead is swelling up like a bee sting. Yeah, and don't forget, they have to beat Canada by 10 or more, so they are out of reach right now. Yeah. Virt they are virtually out of this tournament. All they can do is get a win, to, to pick up their pride, right? But I don't think they, they're gonna advance. That is impossible. Nope. Uh, let, yeah, they won't be able to win this by, by 10 for certain. Canada with a now, well, still an eight point lead. As Plouffe will miss the free throw. He says, give me a second chance. And that one lands. Burundi, no stroke from her. Yep, cue the Sam Smith. The writing's on the wall. Nice. You know that song? Yes, I do. The writing. Okay, no, you can't get to that not Sam day, Smith. Not day three. No, no not, you cannot not day, get to that Sam Smith. I know, it's, it's a few octaves too high for me. Paparazzi trying to get an open shot. Oh, a delicious dish. Hedge and douche is able to finish it off. She says, Casanova say fine. Oh, she delivered that paprika right to Hedge and douche. Oh, what you know about that paprika? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'll make that at the house, trust me. I'm a, little, I'm a little bit of a cook now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Also make a mean Korean chicken, but Korea's not here, so let's leave that one out. See, I would say, let me try some, uh, but I'm, I'm not afraid to tell you it's nasty. It's nasty. All right, you go ahead, and then you can come back and tell people it was good. You know what else is good? Pop shot. Yeah, but the score ain't. Nope. Hungry, hungry fight for all they're worth, but Canada is outmatching him right now. I think Pops ran out of gas. Look at her. Loof is going to make that one count that time, but this one's going to be a done deal. Ten point lead for Canada. If the score was reversed, they'd be going wild and hungry right now. Oh, the zone. She hit that one from the O zone. Way out there. Mm. Milky Way. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. I, just, <laughs> I get carried away sometimes. 
Yeah, that's all right. That's that creativity of yours. It's all good. I'll show myself the door. Don't worry. Uh, we got one more game. Just stick around for that one. It's going to be a good one. Oh, you're right. Puerto Rico and Belgium. Mm -hmm. That's on deck in the men's competition. I'll bring, I'll bring out my alter ego to rubber band man again and try to see if we can get make sense of that pool. Well, this one's going to be pretty well settled, although let's keep an eye on it. I mean, Canada's obviously targeting 21. That's the goal each game. But 20, because they have that uh, that head-to-head -head tiebreaker yeah. over the United States. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? So I'm reminding you of the math that you already did. Come yeah, on, yeah. So I was, I was, you know, I, I have to get into my, my alter ego here. That's what it, I'm here you for. You threw it on me. I got to get in there. I got to get I gotta get that rubber band man out. But you're right. Canada wants to win with 20 points. Oh, they got and 20. they got it. So virtually ver first in the pool right now, USA second. If the score stays like this, the surprising Czech team in third. Wow. And Czechs. Funny because Czech started off so hot, 3-0. How quickly things can change in 3x3 here at the World Cup. But Canada do get that magic 20 number. As Cat Proof deflects it. But you know, Boz, not to make things more complicated, but now that I think about it, Right now, Canada is tied with the U.S. in terms of total points scored. In a three-way tie, the head-to-head -head doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It may come down to ranking. Oh, you're it, making it crazy. You no, know, I. It, it may come down to ranking. Yes, and then we would have USA first, Canada second, Czech third. Wow. Yeah. See, that was my experience kicking in because I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Right. Well, what Canada can save us the trouble if they can just get a score in the next 50 seconds, and then it won't be any any uh, argument because they'll have more points than the USA. And it, it looks like it's just a matter of time. They want to get it to the, the zone, and she's not quite in it. Hungary's still fighting, but they're just uh, outgassed and outmatched right now. Oh, I don't know why they're shooting twos. I, th I don't think that Canada's math matches our math. I think if they knew that 20, 21 is what they really need, they don't need 22, but they can't. It's not going to be a three-way tie score-wise, though, as far as points. Czechs are already below the U.S. Right. So it would be the U.S. and Canada tied in score. Isn't that when they go by uh, the win for Canada over the U.S., though? No, three-way tie. First uh, first tiebreaker is is total points scored. Yes. And at least on the Pro Tour, it uh, then goes to ranking. Well, Some, somebody help us, man. Somebody with a bigger math brain than me come out here and help us. No, that head-to-head -head only when it comes down between the two squads. Let's see if they can get it done. Yeah. All right. So that, that conversation we just had meant nothing. <laughs> it is going to be Canada yes. that are going to take the top seed in Group C, wrap it up three and one with a runaway win over Hungary, who uh, we will say Kusinam, but yeah. also uh, Siesto. Huh. Uh, goodbye to these, uh, these ladies who played hard. Yeah, uh, but their tournament would be not.